Hello kids and welcome to another episode of Sunday School to Go. I'm Pastor Katie from St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Verona, New York. And we've got a great story for you today. This story is the second one for November. It's the fifth one in our fall curriculum for Sunday School to Go, fall of 2021. And actually this is kind of fun because this is a story and it, that wasn't in either of my story Bibles. And so I'm going to tell you the story in my words today. So that'll be fun. This is a story that you might not know. Actually, it's a story that I didn't know very well either. I had to re I had to remember it and think about it and figure out what how I wanted to tell it to you. It's the story of David and Abigail. Now, David you might be familiar with David because David will eventually become King David. And actually in the last story, the one that I, the first story for November, it's all about Ruth and Naomi who eventually their family leads to King David. So that's kind of cool. But King David's family eventually leads to Jesus after many, many, many years and generations. It leads to Jesus. So it's important that way too. But this story, this is a story about what was happening to David before he became king. Okay, David did lots of different things, met lots of different people. Um, uh, yeah, we, I can tell you all of David's stories and we, it would take us a long, long time. We're not going to do that. But this is an interesting story from before David was king. So, you know, I didn't really have a name for this story, but I think we can just call it, well, it's David and Abigail, but... You know, our last story was about two brave women. I think this story is about another brave woman because Abigail was a very brave woman. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was a man named Nabal. Nabal had everything. He was rich. He had a thousand goats. He had 3,000 sheep. He had plenty of food. And he had a beautiful wife whose name was Abigail. Abigail was smart and kind and quick thinking, but Nabal was mean and rude to everybody. A little ways away from where Nabal lived, the great warrior David was in the wilderness with his army. Now David was starting to become famous all over the land for being brave and smart and a very good fighter. In fact, people were starting to like David a little bit better than they liked King Saul, which made King Saul very jealous. So David and his followers had to hide in the wilderness. Now David and his soldiers were hungry. They had been in the wilderness a long time and they knew that Nabal had lots of food. So David sent 10 of his soldiers to meet with Nabal. And he told them to say, Nabal, we come in peace. We have been out in the wilderness a very long time and we are hungry. While we were out there, we saw your sheep and your goats, but we didn't take any of them to eat. And we met your shepherds and your goat herders and we even protected them while they were out in the fields. So please, can you give us some food? But Nabal said, no. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you come from. My food is for my family and my servants. I will not give you anything. Well, when David heard this, he was angry, really angry. So angry that he said to his soldiers, everyone go get your swords. We are going to go kill Nabal. So off they went. Meanwhile, one of Nabal's servants told Abigail what was happening, and she knew she had to do something to stop a big war from breaking out. And she went and got a whole bunch of food. She got 200 loaves of bread, two skins of wine, five whole sheep ready to be cooked, five measures of parched grain, 100 clusters of raisins, and 200 cakes of figs. That's a lot of food. Whew. And she loaded it all up onto donkeys, and she went down the mountain to meet David. 
Now, David was grumbling to himself about how much he wanted to kill Nabal and all the people who worked for him. Now, when Abigail met David, she jumped out in front and she bowed down before him. And she said, David, look, I brought food for you and your soldiers. Nabal is a mean, nasty person who made a very bad choice. Please, don't kill him just because you are angry at him. Someday God will make you a king, but nobody wants a murderer for a king. David said to Abigail, Abigail, God must have sent you to stop me. Thank you for the food, and thank you for making a good point. You're right. We shouldn't kill Nabal just because I'm angry at him. I will listen to you. Well, Abigail went home. And the next day, she told Nabal about what happened. And strangely, he became very sick. Ten days later, he died. Well, after some time went by, David came back and he asked Abigail if she would marry him. And she did. The end. <laughs> I know, kind of a weird way to end the story, but that's how it ended. Now, of course, David went on to do lots of other things, but that is the end of this particular part of David's story. It's not just David's story, too, right? It's Abigail's story. It's And it's the servant's story, right? If it wasn't for that servant and Abigail, this story could have ended very, very differently. You know, when, when Abigail went out to make peace with David, she was taking a chance because David could have been so angry that he didn't listen to her. He could have killed her too. But because she was brave and she took a chance and she shared the food, she ended up making peace and she ended up saving a lot of lives. So way to go, Abigail. All right. Now, in your activity bag, which you should have received if you haven't, um, it might be coming soon, or if you don't usually get our activity bags, reach out to us because, you know, we usually have a couple extras and we would love to send them your way. But this time, for this story, we have two things. We have, oops, we've got a little packet of activity pages. So you can see there's some coloring pages. I think there's some word searches. Yeah, there's a word search, there's a crossword puzzle, stuff like that. So if you like those kinds of things, that's for you. And then we've got this interesting foam scene with all these little pieces and people and a donkey and all these different things to put together. And this is actually, when you, when you finish it, it's supposed to be a picture of what it would have looked like for when Abigail came down with all that food and jumped in front of David and said, David, stop! Here, I'm going to give you all this food. So as you're putting this together, there is a little instruction booklet thing right here. So you can see how it all goes together. But as you're doing that, you can think about what, what it might have looked like. You can imagine in your head what you think it might have looked like and how Abigail might have felt. Um, how scared she might have been, how brave she might have been. And you can think about how David must have felt. You know, how did he feel when he realized, uh, when he realized what he was about to do and changed his mind? I mean, you can think about how all of that stuff while you're putting this together. So anyway, oh, there's one more thing in this bag. And I mentioned it in the last video, but if you didn't see that yet, you'll want to know this is so cool. This is a scratch off advent calendar. And an advent calendar is help us count down to Christmas. And basically one square, there's one square here for each day in December leading up to Christmas. And so every day you can scratch, the green stuff actually scratches off. There's a little scratcher thing right here. And you can scratch it off and there's a surprise behind each one for, e one for each day for you to check out. So you get all the way down to the very end. Christmas is right down here. So... You've got that, you've got activities, and I think that's it. We are planning to do another set of stories for later in December, stories that will connect to Christmas. 
So tune in again then. And in the meantime, have fun. And we will see you soon for another episode of Sunday School to Go. Thanks, everybody. Bye.